Okay, good first day. Always fun to get these guys in the building. Got them here yesterday. Uh, started that process, obviously, with uh, them getting to know this system, them getting to know each other, us getting to know these players. So uh, it's a fun process. I love the team meeting of rookie minicamp because everybody's in there 15 minutes early. Uh, notebooks are open, pens are in their hands. And uh, so you tell them to do something, these guys are, are ready to go. They're, uh, it's a good group. So uh, got some good work out there today, nice and uh, warm for us. And then we'll kind of go through a similar uh, program tomorrow and then we'll get them out of here on Sunday. But really good work uh, to start off this rookie minicamp. With that, I'll take any questions. Gavin, what was your reaction when you saw the schedule and you had three division opponents in the, the first month of the season? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, as you guys know, you don't control the schedule. Uh, you, you really just, you're ready to play wherever they tell you to play. I think it's, it's a unique thing to have the three division opponents in the first four weeks. I believe we're the only team that has that in the NFL, and, and I look at it as a great opportunity. Does it cause you to adjust anything about your training camp? Uh, I think we'll get there. Not yet, no. Um, I, I do think the one unique part there, Tony, is uh, having coordinators that you've gone against. They, they've gone against us. We've gone against them quite a bit over the last few years. So uh, I'm talking with Cincinnati and with Pittsburgh back to back. But uh, it remains to be seen how much we adjust going through training camp in the preseason. Workload and preseason game time and all that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about workload. I mean, I don't care who the first two opponents are. That's going to be tough. It just always is. Uh, the fact that it's a division opponent really means they know us really well. We know them really well. So it's uh, going to be interesting to see uh, what type of adjustments both sides make. Kevin, um, your thoughts on Deshaun Watson going to Puerto Rico? First off, did he discuss that with you? And, and so what, what do you think about that? Uh, he did, but as you know, Jeff, voluntary program. Uh, I'm very appreciative of the guys that, that are here and, and working here. And then when the guys uh, decide that they want to get together and, and be a team, uh, I'm very, very much in favor of that. Did you give them a script of things you'd like them to do? Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to. So if we're not allowed to, <laughs> no. If we are allowed to, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, it's. I think they did a nice job, Mary Kay. As you can imagine, it's it's like drinking through a fire hose for these guys when it, the amount of information that we're throwing at them. So just breaking the huddle, getting lined up, can be a challenge. And and you mentioned said he he was really good getting out of the huddle. I thought uh, DTR did a very nice job in the huddle, explaining where everybody's lining up, getting them out of the huddle, uh, called the plays really really well. So uh, it, it's it's. It's elementary. I mean, it's we're, we're really uh, football 101 right now in terms of scheme, uh, but it's it's a new language, and it's easier for me to say because I've been all around this language. But uh, I think they're all working really hard. Kevin, one come out okay. Maybe yeah, he needed some time away there in the middle of practice. And... Yeah, he, he's doing just fine. Dorian mentioned that there were, he felt like there were some similarities between the offense he ran with Chip and what you guys do, would you agree? And if so, I mean, what ways would you say there is? Yeah, I think I think there's elements to what they did. There's really elements to, to, to a lot of college offense, to what we do and what we have in our system. Uh, you know, teams are a lot more similar than they are dissimilar, I would think. Uh, so there, there's definitely plays that have stood the test of time that show up in high school and college and the pros and are part of what we do. Uh, and then it's just a matter of the nuances that, that differentiate you. He said uh, he was uh, he, he, he was better receiver than Cedric, at least at, from the, at the start. Uh, did uh, you there? Maybe. I, I'll, I'll say this. It, it is, that's such a cool uh, story and, and a cool thing to be able to bring your high school buddy with you to work every day. Uh, those two are inseparable in the building so far. They're kind of walking around together. So, uh, I, I, and I think it helps. It helps that they play a position where they're talking to each other quite a bit so they can study together, those type of things. I wish you enjoy having fewer players on the field where like even seeing you out there doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah, I mean, there's different ways to do it. I've been around the rookie mini camps where you bring in 70 guys and, and it's uh, you're, you're doing full team drills and seven on seven, those type of things. For us, we just feel like the best thing to do is to slow it down. I mean, we're doing, we're, it's the basics. It's, it's how to get into a stance, uh, how to come out of your stance. Uh, so it's, it's really very, very uh, entry level stuff, if you will. But that's what we're here to do. It's, it's skill development. It's, it's fundamentals and techniques right now is the focus. Right. So, so is that 
that the immediate project for him? Yeah, honestly, Tony, I don't think it's a challenge. I, I don't see that as a problem or an, a, uh, an issue for him. He's very, very intelligent. He did it uh, at the East-West Shrine game uh, and had no problems. Um, he, he's a smart kid. Kevin, with DeWine, I know you watch a bunch of film, but having a guy that big with that kind of movement skill you know, right in front of you, um, how did it look and how did you think he moved for being that big? Yeah, again, day one for these guys. I mean, literally, Bill has him in his stance, trans putting his weight on his right foot or his outside foot or where he wants his hand placement. So it's very, very uh, entry level um, football right now for him. And I thought he did a nice job. It's, it's, it's going to be a challenge for all these guys. We're going to ask him to use technique that's a little bit different, at, really, at every position. Uh, and, and he's very receptive to that. Back to the schedule, are you ready to say what you're going to do between Denver and L.A.? It's not finalized yet, Tony, but that's definitely something that we're considering is staying out there in L.A. Oh, after, after Denver. Why, why do you think it's going to be a benefit? Just eliminate a trip? Yeah, I think eliminating a, a trip, number one, from a, a rest and recovery standpoint. Uh, and then I think it's it's never a bad thing when you can get your team together in a setting. Kevin, we talked about the, the, the true rookies, the guys coming right out of college, but you got a bunch, you have a number of guys out there that, you know, were with you through training camp mm -hmm. and, and all of last season. What about some of those guys and just what you've seen some of the development? Right yeah, now? I think it's such a great benefit to be able to have those guys out here. Um, a lot of this they've heard often, so uh, them uh, breaking the huddle maybe is not the big challenge, but they get one-on-one -on -one, uh, work with their coaches. Uh, think about the wide receivers. Think about Coach Callahan here. They, they get smaller groups uh, that, that they can really hone in and, and teach these young men, and, and they're doing a nice job. It's a great opportunity for them uh, to be able to attend this. Kevin, we, we haven't talked to you uh, since you guys drafted Wickler. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you guys like about him throughout the process that led you to him? Yeah, a good football player, played a lot of good football for them down there uh, in Columbus. Uh, tough, very, very intelligent, uh, scrappy, uh, just uh, fits in with, with what we do. So I think it's a, a nice player to have for Coach uh, Callahan, Coach Peters, Coach DeCosta to get their hands on. Kevin, he, he told us that he liked kind of the chess game of football, the playing center. That's what he likes about it. Do you, have you gotten a chance to kind of see that in him a little bit? Not yet. Um, I think centers by nature oftentimes are really, really intelligent guys because you're making a lot of adjustments at the line of scrimmage when it comes to protection and the run game and those type of things. So uh, we ask a lot of our centers. I think Ethan and Nick do a great job in that area. So in, in that regard, uh, he'll fit right in. Kevin, I know with the schedule you talk all the time, but you can't control any element of that. But the early bye week and having that week five, what the challenges are going to be of having to come that early for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there's challenges. I think you just... They put the buy or they put the games wherever they are. I mean, I don't know that reordering the games or reordering the buy makes the schedule much different from my perspective. It's just we're kind of next game mentality. So if the buy is when it is, we'll 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 take a breather when it shows up. Kevin, you said that in training camp last year, you sent some of these guys home with homework and you give mm -hmm. them projects to take with them. Does that happen in rookie minicamp? And what does that look like for, for these guys? Yeah, for sure it happens. And what we try to do is we give them – uh, we send them home tonight with some study materials, if you will, and, and they're going to be responsible for, for some things that we'll quiz them on in the morning because they're tired. So they're going to go back to the hotel. I promise you they'll sleep well tonight. But while they're getting ready to go to bed, you know, grab the playbook, take a peek at the iPad and, and see if they can, uh, you know, do, do, really just be students of the game in that regard. And that's part of uh, teaching these young men how to be pros. And, and a big, big part of being a pro is what you do when you're outside of this building. There's so much here. That, that's not the intention, Mary Kay. It's not, you know, we're just trying to be safe in what we're doing. And a lot of the, the drills that they're doing, they're doing for the first time with us, and they're going to do them tomorrow, and they're going to do them next week, and they're going to do them first day of training camp. So it's really an introduction to how we operate. Uh, it's true that a lot of young men that go through this draft process, you're not in the best shape. So we know that. So it's not like we need to uh, scare them uh, into it. The, the, they realize that they have work to do. It's at, uh, And not all of them do, but... Uh, sometimes you're in the draft process and you're on an airplane every other day making these visits. So uh, we got a lot of resources in this building, and, and these guys are going to use them. There's a bit of a couple more for these guys with all the information you're throwing mm -hmm. at them right away. Just I, I know it's early and you haven't had a lot of time with them, but just what's your impression of the, the reaction uh, of them to, to getting all the information and 
that they're going to have to absorb and, and know inside and out. Yeah, I think that's every year, Daryl, at, at rookie minicamp. You you have a pretty good feel of, of these players. We have good uh, intel on them before we get them, but we understand how they learn best, and, and that's where we as coaches need to uh, do our, our best to, to teach these guys in whatever setting works for them. So uh, even though we have a ton of meeting time, that meeting time may, hey, let's walk out in the indoor and, and walk through this, or hey, let's take a, a, a a breather here and let's talk through this concept. So we really are going at, at their pace right now to make sure that we can ensure uh, that they're going to get this for the long term.